What are you thinking? Where are you going? There are lots of talented creators out there. Why would someone choose to watch your creepy content? They chose. This is the first day of this channel. I was planning to celebrate 1K and maybe you saw those videos where people uh, wait for that number and they celebrate. And in my head, that always uh, has been in that way. But October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month and that day I was in medical conference and yep, I missed 1K. But good news is I managed to took a screenshot. By the way, I always take screenshots when I see nice and beautiful numbers. Finally, we are here and I know you waited for this day as I did. And first of all, I want to say a huge thank you. Uh, thank you for your support and nice word and thank you for your decision to become a part of this newborn community and mm, your words and your encouragement is everything for me it make me just create and keep going today's video is thanksgiving one and today i want to share some strategies and tips which bring me to this point also we'll do a quick q a maybe you want to know more about me and you can ask your questions if you have some in comment section and if we um, collect more than 50 questions i will make separate q a video and we will do that q a as a celebration of 1k also i want to mention that here we have time codes so you can choose the part you want to watch and um, here we are, okay, let's, let's start. start from this interactive and Q&A part and then we will continue with strategies. So here I have questions and the first one is what is your biggest dream slash goal? Mm, well, my biggest dream is to listen to the song Empire State of Mind while in Empire State Building. Uh, second question, is YouTube hobby or work for you? When I started this channel, I treated YouTube as a hobby, but for now I want it to become a work for me, which I enjoy. Maybe I'm too delusional, but I believe that I can turn it into work. And, you know, I really give lots of time and energy to this. And if I want to support this dream, I need it to be a work. Okay, and the last question for today is if you could have a conversation with an animal and understand its responses, which animal would you choose to talk to and what would you ask it? Uh, for sure dolphins and I would ask what they think about people. Okay, now let's continue with strategical part and first one is thumbnails and titles comes first. I always create my videos in this way and I heard this advice from Mr. Beast and from other YouTube gurus. You just need to come up your, uh, with your idea, then do proper research decide your title and create thumbnail and after all finally you can start scripting um, and filming process and uh, i know that lots of beginners do in opposite way they film then they don't know how to just name this video and um, this uh, tip really makes whole filming process easier of course, you can change title and thumbnail after uploading your videos. Uh, in my case, I change my thumbnails about three or four times sometimes. And also, I noticed that lots of YouTubers um, do the same thing, so it's um, normal. And uh, the best performing thumbnails for my channel is the type when you use one big photo with some elements and text over. I personally I like colleges but they don't perform well for my channel so yeah you just need to experiment and find out the ideal options but after all the main thing is you need to keep in your mind that thumbnails and title are crucial and by the way I use Canva for creating my thumbnails if you are interested in and also I look at other creators thumbnails in my niche uh, for inspiration 
The second tip is think as a viewer before becoming uh, creators we all were consumers and just pay attention why you decided to click on some videos and if you would click on your own video and watch it till the end it's really a win and uh, for all content creators and for all artists I would suggest to read a book called uh, still like an artist a really easy going book um, without any water and if you want to come up with your ideas easily just read this book next tip is to keep your videos fast paced and actually I don't like to use this uh, tip and this technique because it's not about me and myself uh, I don't want to use lots of clips in my videos and because I don't like it but it really works um, but I have hope because my my favorite youtuber Lana Blakely with her full content gives me that hope that I don't need to be that much entertaining but for nowadays lots of people have ADHD and um, with keeping your videos fast paced you can prolong retention Next advice is to learn how to tell stories and storytelling is a powerful tool for nowadays and uh, for now my main goal is to learn how to tell proper stories uh, because you can deliver the same message in different way and um, I try to pay attention to linguistic patterns and I try to uh, listen more TED talks and uh, to inspirational speakers uh, for learning from them and um, also I'm not a native English speaker so for me it, uh, it's really hard and sometimes I want to say my thoughts and I want to say in a fastest way and in an easiest way uh, your filming skills can be awful your light gears can be not that good but when you have that skill to engage with your speech that is really win and i want to share more and more strategies but let's continue with our last tip and we will say goodbye for today the last tip is collaborate with others and with this i don't want to say to film videos with other youtubers and of course you can do that as well i'm talking about to film about youtubers popular youtubers share advice from their videos which change your life or make videos with your top 10 favorite youtubers uh, in your niche and just create content using familiar faces and topics some people it's really hard to come up with ideas and choose topics for their videos but in my case I uh, don't have that problem and I have list with 100 ideas um, but before making this video I had crisis maybe a little because I didn't know what I want to uh, create and film so 1k 1k came and solved that problem uh, with my example I want to show that everything is possible you can see some growth only using your phone and as you know I edit and film with my phone and don't overthink if you want to start just upload that first video because that is that is the easiest part and everything starts after that first step actually in some cases maybe after 90th first step